That boat is beautiful. Beautiful. So beautiful. Here it is Thursday night and the deal on the 2016 44 Leopard owner's version has or appears to have fallen through. That night we went to bed full of uncertainty. The negotiations with the owner was not going as planned. This whole process is the absolute biggest roller coaster ride. And I've said it before, but um, if you can afford to, to hire a broker, um, then you certainly should because it will absolutely help uh, from the logistics and the, you know, just emotions that play into buying your dream boat. Right, exactly. And we actually, you actually have written a blog post on that. It is live on our website right now, theadventurecruise.com. So feel free to check that out and leave us a comment. Have you purchased a boat? Are you in the process of purchasing a boat? Are you using a broker? Are you not? Why? Why not? We'd love to hear from you. But for us, the decision was not to use a broker. We are not trust fund babies. We have worked hard for everything we have. And that unfortunately was just one of those expenses that was just not there for us. Yeah, 10% is the is the typical broker fee and that's yeah. a lot of money. But back to the point here, this is such a roller coaster ride and this next clip will show you why. It is April 23rd. It's my birthday. This girl's birthday. 30th birthday that is. Yeah. So, uh, where were we a year ago? We were, in, well, we had just gotten back from the Bahamas. We were on the boat. And what did you, what did you say to me? I said to you when we were going to the Bahamas for my 29th birthday, I said, you realize this is my 29th birthday that you're really going to have to go all out for my 30th. Yep. And you said, yeah, I plan for next year for us to have our own boat by your 30th. So it didn't quite happen the way we I had hoped. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but it's we're close enough because we just signed the contract for our dream boat. Our dream boat. It is awesome. It's so beautiful. And, uh, yeah, it's um, super nerve-wracking. Uh, we are actually here at a state park <laughs> with my parents. Camping. Uh, camping for Emily's 30th birthday. Um, but I wanted to just document this real quick and kind of... How we're feeling. Yeah. It's exciting. Uh, We've been working all week to get the boat under contract, negotiating back and forth. So has super not been excited. Easy. Has not yeah. been easy. It has been a roller coaster. Um, obviously, yeah. obviously, you do your best to keep... Uh, keep making a business deal um, but of course there's just a lot of emotions because and it, and it has to be an emotional deal for us because this is life changing, it is life -changing. and um, you know it's uh, well it's one step closer <laughs> but uh, it's not over yet obviously yeah. a lot can happen between now and closing on the boat um, but uh, we have a signed contract yeah by my birthday, on my birthday. So on your that's birthday. pretty exciting. 30th birthday. So we just got a peek at where our new home will be staying. That dock, right back there, a little open spot. That's right. We uh, signed the contract today for the boat slip. For the boat slip. And we will uh, be here for a couple months while we learn the boat and prepare to uh, set sail. Yeah, it's all becoming more real. It is. piece of the puzzle closing out. That's right. We just sold our little fishing boat and uh, have sold it now to an awesome family here in Bradenton and uh, they're going to enjoy it. Yeah. It's like the last little thing and we close on our house, well, in like a week. That's right. So, woohoo. All right. Well, we're stressed. <laughs> we are stressed. It is Monday. Tuesday. Eight, oh, Tuesday. The 26th. That's right. We agreed to a delayed closing on the house because we just simply did not expect to find a boat that we loved so fast. So fast, and that delayed closing um, has obviously affected our, you know, financials mm -hmm. and what we can prove and how we can get the best rates and. <sighs> um, 
you know, we have, the last time we spoke um, on camera, we were kind of talking about how, like, we didn't think the deal was going to go through. Like, this yeah, potential been so deal has been, forth. like, a little sketchy at times, a lot sketchy at times. <laughs> um, next thing you know, we have been talked off of a cliff because we talked to someone new. Um, but we have a signed contract. Yep. The signed contract is dependent on insurance for the boat. Mm -hmm. It's dependent on financing. And it's dependent on the most important at this point in time survey for us. Survey and sea trial. Survey and sea trial. Okay. So all of that being said, um, we're moving forward. But it's not without stress. It's not without concern. Um, it's becoming to be a logistical nightmare. Um, as hurricane far season. as hurricane season coming up, insurance, yeah. uh, figuring out how we can get the boat back from Texas to Florida. Before um, hurricane season. signing the closing documents on the house. It's happening. The house is gone. It's gone. <laughs> she gone. Yep. Pretty crazy, huh? It is. It's just uh, one of the last pieces of the puzzle. That's right. Moving forward. Closing on the house early, which is good. Gonna so we can close on the boat early. Good position to get this boat and get this boat home. That's right. We did it, babe. <laughs> So this weekend we're actually heading back to Texas for the second time to look at the boat, but we're really excited because this is the biggest part of buying a boat. Uh, this is the survey. So we're going to check out the boat with not only the local surveyor in Texas, but we're also bringing our good friend Rian, uh, who has been working on my boats for the last uh, few years and is actually a catamaran boat builder himself. So having that extra set of eyes with us is worth its weight in gold. It is 5.15 on Friday the 13th, and we are headed back to Texas. For the survey. That's right. Got a friend oh, with yeah. us. You uh, got your hammers confiscated and now. Uh, hammers, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and the uh, free jack. <laughs> we, uh, we've been sweating. We barely made this flight running down the terminal. But we made it. Almost ran out of gas on the way here. <laughs> down in Houston just before 7 a.m. We made our way to Seabrook and stopped back by to see our friends at the Sugar Mountain Coffee Shop who we met during our last episode. Same order as last time, a delicious breakfast burrito, and then we were off to do the survey. We went through every nook and cranny of this boat during the survey. This was our final chance to find any issues with the boat before closing. a pretty extensive survey out of water survey there's the boat behind us and uh it's uh it's happening it We're went really it. well it uh, did go really well found a few few things but uh nothing nothing crazy and we're gonna get them fixed we are so excited to tell you that we have bought our dream boat. We did. The boat in Texas worked out after one heck of a roller coaster ride, and we are just so elated because this truly is our dream boat. She has all the bells and whistles that from day one I've called list. it. From day one I've called it the unicorn boat. Yeah, and she is now ours, and we can't wait to show her to you in an upcoming boat tour and just really have you along on this journey, this journey and dream of two years in the making 
finally coming true, one step closer of our dreams of travel and seeing the world together. That's right. So guys, please, I know everyone asks, it's a typical YouTube thing, right? <laughs> but please like, subscribe, and give us that notification bell. Having you on board with us during this journey is the most important aspect of allowing us to grow. We can't do this without you. You won't want to miss next week because we fly to Texas one final time, and this time it's to bring Big Girl Adventure Cruise home. So join us next week for that episode. Thanks for watching.